Meantime, even more states reporting the new Omicron COVID-19 variant tonight. These are the latest ones with confirmed cases. Now, some of the infected were vaccinated and have mild symptoms. This all happening as North Carolina sees an uptick in people testing positive for the virus. So here are three metrics we want to highlight for you tonight. First are COVID-19 cases. So these are people who have tested positive more than 3,700 as you can see here today. Next up, the number of people in the hospital with the virus. We are seeing about 1,200 or so patients reported today. And then the third number is going to give us a sense of potential spread in North Carolina. So that's going to be test positivity rate. As you can see, this dotted line here is the two week average, and we're sitting at about six and a half percent today, certainly well below our peak levels, but also above the state's 5% goal line. So how should we think about these numbers as we prepare for the Omicron variants arrival here? Well, Dr. Cameron Wolf, an infectious disease specialist at Duke Health, shares his perspective about these rises. I suspect that is nothing yet to do with variant activity and everything to do with the fact that, frankly, maybe we've just eased our guard off a little bit. Now, Dr. Wolf says that safety precautions in South Africa had relaxed before the Omicron variant started to spread. So in keeping with that lesson, he is urging people to continue on with the protocols we all know very well at this point, which is masking and social distancing through the winter. And he also says without solid proof that the new variant can evade current vaccines, he recommends getting a COVID shot or a booster and using that still as the best protection.